Welcome to the Zen Zone. We are going on an adventure today. Today, today, we are going on an adventure. I got these new wrist guards, man. These things are pretty sweet because you don't lose uh, mobility, which is actually pretty important when you're when you're racing. And they were only like 30 euro. And I feel like the protection still, it's not as good because you don't have the wrist uh, stability. But still pretty good. All right, we have a very important video today and a new sponsorship. I've been accused of selling out for this sponsorship. And so I am going out to prove to that person and to you guys that I have not sold out. And uh, before we get into that, I wanted to talk about the new ET Max. We've seen some specs now for it. Specs sheet, I'll try to put that up on the screen. Needless to say, I'm so happy that I went with the links. I'm not saying that maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong about the ET Max, but I think there's a good chance that it's a flop and that it's overpriced for what you're gonna get and that you might not be happy with it. Now, the people that aren't gonna like this statement are the people that probably have already pre-ordered they just got caught up in the, oh, it has more voltage hype, which I totally understand. It's like 168 volts. It's the highest voltage wheel on paper. It'll be the fastest wheel. Has an amazing street tire. However, let's peek around the corner here. However, I just don't think pound for pound, it's better than the Lynx. I think the Lynx is the way to go. I would definitely, I am super thankful that I have the Lynx. I think it is still wheel of the year. But again, I could be wrong. This is speculation, all right? We're allowed to speculate. We're allowed to have opinions. Although those just trigger the heck out of people. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. I own this Lynx here with 50 S cells. I do not have an ET Max. I have not ridden the ET Max. But if I really, really see that it per is performing better than the Lynx and that it might be a better racing wheel, then I will get the ET Max, right? I have enough money to buy it. It's not a problem for me. A lot of people, they'll give you a lot of hate because they can't afford the wheel and they already have a wheel, so you'll get hit some hate for that. But I can afford the ET Max, all right? If I really wanted one, I could get one. However, I just don't feel the need. So first off, it's 20 pounds heavier than the Lynx. So that extra voltage is going to be kind of reduced a bit. I don't know like how to do the mathematics of it, but this is 20 pounds lighter I think the Lynx is 20 pounds lighter than the ET Max. I might have to fact check that, but I think that's the case. I think it's 20 pounds heavier than the Lynx. So that extra voltage is kind of like negated a lot in a lot of ways. Let me make sure my microphone's going. Yeah, my microphone's going, okay. Cool little statue up here. We're going into a park where I can do some speed tests. So the ET Max, that extra voltage with it being 20 pounds heavier, is negated in a long way. So uh, maybe you could say that it's 160 volts or 155 volts. I don't think because of that X compared to Lynx. Um, it's also, I think, a bit taller than Lynx and Lynx is already like a pretty tall EUC. I saw that the ET Max is about the same height as the Master Pro, which is a really tall EUC. Really, really tall EUC. So I hope you guys aren't getting too much traffic noise here and then you can hear me clearly. There's going to be a lot of information in this video. I'm going to try my best to make it concise. If you guys could hit that thumbs up, leave. If I could get 100 likes, I'd be super happy, guys. 100 likes is the way to go. You guys can do it. You have the power to get me to 100 likes, and I'll keep making videos like this. I'm going out to risk my life, essentially, to, to prove the hater wrong that says I sold out, and uh, I don't have my Elite gear on. I really wish I had Elite, my Elite gear for doing high-speed runs. Let's look around here. So we got some patinetes. That looks like a pretty fast one, some pretty fast patinetes. Uh, we got a green light here, but not that one. So we're just gonna skate a bit. I love this Lynx, man. So we're gonna take a closer look at it here in a minute. You can see I got some new pads on. I also... All right, we are going. Wasn't the best mount there. So we are crossing over the bridge here. Ah, uh, I think I need to do a quick recap because I forgot where my train of thought was. But basically, we we're talking about the ET Max being 20 pounds heavier, so that kind of negates some of that extra voltage. It's a bit higher, a bit taller. 
And if you look at the gap between the top of the wheel and the tire, it is a huge gap. So the thing with the Master Pro is it has a 22 inch tire. And uh, let's look around a bit here. This is kind of a nice view. Lots of people out today. It's Friday, right? Today is Friday, so a lot more traffic. I need to actually get to that big tower over there. I should have went down further. We're going through a more highly trafficked area. Busy day. A lot of people out. I wasn't expecting this. I guess it's Friday. I think it's Chinese New Year too, or Chinese New Year is coming up. Give you guys a quick look around. The beauty of Spain, the orange trees where you can't really eat the oranges because they do not taste good. I think they're for like making marmalade or just for like looks. We are crossing through here. I think that car was honking at me. I'm not sure why. All right, this is a uh, kind of a touristy street with a lot of shops set up. And there's that beautiful like temple at the end of it. Got to go really slow here because there's not much walking space. So people will come onto this, this bike lane, which is not a big deal for me. I can go slower than walking speeds on this wheel. I have a lot of control with this wheel. I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is because they just see like some aggressive riders just storing by pedestrians. But look, I'm still on my wheel and I'm going less speed than they are. Like they are gaining a little bit of ground on me. I can only maintain this so long and I see a gap to get through. I see a gap to get through and boom, through. A lot of people today. Looks like school's out. But yeah, that's the thing about EUCs. You can be a super respectful rider and still have fun. Like I'm going to a place where there's not going to be people so I can show you guys some high speed runs. And basically, basically what I was accused of was selling out because I'm saying that these, uh, these toe stomps that I'm having, the person that called me out calls them jump pads, which they, which they are. They're jump pads. You can use them for a jump, but they're also braking pads and they're also wobble control pads. There are a lot of uses to these pads. They're not just jump pads. And I'll be showing them to you in a minute when we get to the park. I also got a new 360 cam. When I first arrived to Spain, I broke my Skydio 2. After like a month, I broke my Insta360, my like second one. Actually, I think it was my third Insta360 that I broke. So I, and all the repairs and stuff, and then my GoPro, GoPro Max, which was also destroyed. Actually, I sold my GoPro Max. But I did break it at one point. I don't know if you saw that video where I was doing a comparison between my Insta360 and GoPro Max, and I slid in some water and broke both my Insta360 and the GoPro Max. Needless to say, guys, I have spent a lot of money on this channel uh, in terms of camera equipment repairs. But I just got a new Insta360, so we're going to a park, and I'm gonna try to show you that these, that I'm not a sellout, guys. So my discount code ZENZONE, ZENZONE at Grizzla Pads, is it grizzlapads.com or grizzla.com? I think it's grizzlapads.com. Check on that, I'll put the link in the video. But my discount code gives me nothing. I do not get any kickbacks, I do not get any money, but this discount code will give you 10% off. So I'm looking out for you guys. I'm not a seller, I promise. I promise. If I was a seller, I would be lying. I wouldn't be able to prove my thing, my uh, my statements. I would, wouldn't be able to prove them. I'm going out right now. I saw that comment. I'm going out right now. Hello. No problem. Um, going out right now to prove to you that I'm not a sellout. And my code does not give me any sort of money. So I'm not trying to make money off you guys. I really believe that this product is an amazing product. We're going to jet through here and that it is worth the money. I love this Lynx, it is the best thing I've owned in my life and I really, really don't mind paying a little bit more to add some upgrades that make it even better. And I feel like Grizzla, they know EUCs, they know electric unicycles and they have made a quality product which I'll be showing you here in a minute once we get to the park, we're almost there. I'm gonna turn off the camera for now. So back to the ET Max, 20 pounds heavier, negate some of the voltage, it has a huge wheel well, it's a tall wheel. My concern is that it's not gonna be really good on the turns and even at high speed. What I feel like they should have done since there's, it's the same height as the Master Pro and the difference between the Master Pro and the ET Max is, uh, you know, besides voltage and all that and weight and extra battery, is the, the size of the tire. The Master Pro has a much bigger tire. So them being the same height, Master Pro having a 22 inch tire, the ET Max does not have that, uh, the same size tire. 
So it's going to be more difficult to get stability from that tire. Like with it being the same height, it's not going to be as stable at high speed. It's not going to turn as well as like a 22 inch tire. I feel like for me, really, I like the ET Max, except for the, the huge gap, the, more, the heavier weights. I feel like it does have potential to be EUC, uh, racing EUC. I could be totally wrong about my uh, theories. But man, just looking at it does not get me hyped. See, this is why electric unicycles and electric devices are so great in Spain. Look at the congestion of parking. Like if you want to park here, good luck, or you're going to be paying a lot. Look, just stacks and stacks of parking. You really, it's really congested with, uh, you know, parking. It's, it's really hard to find parking spots. With the EUC, you can just bring it anywhere. This, even the scooters, well, these are better than scooters because you can bring them inside. It's got a trolley handle. Just a better device all around. We are at Park Vegeta de Triana. And this is where we will be doing our test and showing you some of the high speeds. So ET Max, I think I could cap off right now. ET Max, heavier. It has more voltage, yes. But the height of it and the ergonomics of it is what I'm most worried about. Now, I think I saw Sho is going to be getting this. And he is a person I would like to see test it. But I don't know if you're going to get, he works for Alien Rides, and Alien Rides has ordered a large number of these from what I understand. So there might be some bias there, right? And my belief is that a show on a Lynx would beat a show on an ET Max, but we'll probably never get that video. I hope we get that video. If we see a video of show, you know, doing some laps on the Lynx and then on the ET Max, that would be the video I want to see. Now I heard Roger, I think Roger may be get Roger, Roger UC may be getting the ET Max, and that's who I would like to see because that guy is going to be honest. Uh, I don't think he has any like affiliation with any sort of company that's going to. He's the reason I got the links, or a big part of it. You know, I always do multiple, multiple. If I'm going to get a wheel, pay this much for a wheel, or get a. If you're going to invest in a wheel, you really want to be sure that this is what I'm going to be risking my life on. I'm going to be sure that I watch more than just one set of YouTubers' videos because there's different types of YouTubers. Like there's the hype guys. Like Hayden, he is like a hype guy where he makes one amazing, super awesome video that just makes me want to go out and ride and the effects are awesome and everything. But then he doesn't post anything for like, you know, <laughs> months and months after. So it's like you get this awesome video, but you don't get any updates. Hey, how many miles do you have on the wheel? I'm almost at, I'm at just about actually to hit 400 kilometers on this link. I am out testing these wheels every day. If, I, if I'm going to put out information, I'll usually do like an, uh, initial impressions. And then I'll do, you know, I put some miles on the wheel and do kind of a review, early review. And then after some more miles, I'm going to keep updating and keep updating. Oh, something I want, a safety, a safety concern uh, that I need to put out is with the magnetic field. I saw that a lot of people were having issues with it. And this also brings me back to the race. So my understanding of the magnetic field, correct me if I'm wrong, is it just makes the tire essentially spin faster. So it's going to make it feel, feel, feel more torquey, feel more powerful. But it's kind of a trap because someone cut out. Uh, at a lower speed than they're used to and uh, a lot of people were dipping where it dips like oh whoa whoa and that's what was happening happening to us on the race when you use racing mode it lowers the magnetic field from that's my understanding and that's what psycho and i were using at that race where the sherman beat us the 100 volt sherman because we were both dipping and we were not confident in our wheels so uh we feel like if we had kept the original firmware or just kept it in off-road mode we wouldn't have had that dipping problem. We would have been more competitive. That's not to say the Sherman S rider wouldn't have still won. He's an amazing rider, but we wouldn't have had the dipping problem because we had been practicing and practicing and practicing, but we only practiced race mode like one week before the race. And we had been practicing off-road for thousands of kilometers before then. So it was too much of a change. And we didn't realize it at the time. If we could go back in time, we would both just run off-road mode and see the difference. But big safety concern. On updates guys don't and I even see uh, the Sherman S had an update that was having some problems uh, if it's not broke don't update it or wait till somebody else updates first let them be the guinea pigs I've learning my lesson when I first updated my GT it like blocked it for a while and it took a while to get unblocked so just be careful when you're updating your wheel guys all right let's get into the second part of this video all right the second part of this video is we have decked out our links with the Grizzla the new Grizzla Toe stops, toe stops, braking. Needs to be tightened a little bit. These are much more ergonomic and they're also wider than the original toe stops. 
They have this uh, this protector for the bottom of the suspension. This is all part of their Lynx kit. They have these pads, which I love these pads. They look amazing. And they have a seat. I did not install my seat. I gave my seat to Psycho. I had already uh, had this one installed. I do prefer the Grizzless seat. They were saying this offers a little bit more protection because of these little knobs, but I like the Grizzly seat much better. It just feels more comfortable on for sitting. So they're both good seats. I like the seat, but I prefer the Grizzly one. And it's part of the Grizzly kit. You can again, you guys can use discount code ZenZone for 10% uh, off, and, and I think that's amazing. Okay, so the why I've been accused of selling out is because I said these help with wobbles, and they're like uh, the person that was accusing me of selling out said no. Uh, these are jump pads. You're sold, you've basically sold out. So I'll post the comment because I don't know the exact words. But I want to demonstrate to you guys. I brought my Insta360. I'm going to demonstrate to you guys that uh, these do help with wobbles. They help with braking wobbles. Sometimes when you're braking, you start to get the wobbles, especially if you're braking fast. And these help. And they also help with speed wobbles. A lot of the speed wobbles come from imbalance, like the imbalance, the setup of your pads, the muscle of your, muscles of your legs being imbalanced. There's just so much imbalance going on that these help these help you to control. Now you just kind of pull back with your toes. You make adjustments. Now it takes some time to develop the technique to do this. I've been practicing for quite a while. Like I, I understand wobbles and how to control them. It's hard for me to kind of articulate, but I'm going to pull up Insta360, which in and of itself, the Insta360 creates a bit of imbalance. I was talking about that in the Superman video. I just feel like these are not good. All right, guys, we got my Insta360 going, my new Insta360. I hope today is not the day where I break another Insta360, because if I do, I'm not, I'm not buying another one. Now, I held off buying, ah, oh, come on, shoulder strap. There we go. Oh. Now I held off buying another Insta360 for a long time because I think every two years they release a new camera and I think it's been about that time. So yeah, I didn't want to buy the Insta X3 and then the X4 come out immediately after. All right, I'm all buckled up. I think my phone's pretty secure. Let's turn on the links. I think I'm gonna start slow. Now I've been easily able to get this links over 50 miles an hour with no problems but now i'm carrying an insta360 that i do not want to break so i'm going to start slow and try to do my best to articulate how to control these wobbles that people get a lot of its user error this is a tall wheel and it takes some getting used to so let's uh let's give it let's give it a go okay The braking on this wheel is exceptional. Wow, okay, so I didn't even, uh, with these pads, I would have to take these pads off, I think, to get wobbles to show you what I'm talking about. And I don't wanna take them off and get wobbles. Because if I start to feel the wheel like wobble at all, I use, I'll lift up my left toe a little bit, I'll adjust my right toe a little bit. And then when I brake, I give a little pre-brake first. So I don't brake hard right away. I give a little soft brake first and then brake harder. Let's, let's try to demonstrate that. So giving it some speed. Some people are coming up so I can't, I can't go too fast. Sorry. We're actually gonna turn around because I don't wanna have to brake. There's people walking on the bike path and I don't wanna, I don't wanna get into them, so okay. We are stepping on it. The acceleration of this wheel and the braking of this wheel is something to behold and the, the uh, Ah, there's another fucking bike coming. He's on my side of the lane. What the hell? Ah, okay. This is the straightaway. We're stepping on it. The, the acceleration of this wheel is amazing. The, the Grizzly pads too, I love them. Okay, so I'm about to brake, so I'll give it a little pre-brake, and then I brake hard. I didn't even wobble. Man, when I didn't have these pads, I was wobbling on my brakes, and they weren't bad wobbles, like, but for a new rider, they may scare you. If you, if you brake and you start to get wobbles, you may overreact. With these pads, I'm not getting them at all. Like it's just, there's just so much more room to control with your toes. Like if you start to feel a wobble on one side, you can pull up here, pull up here. They're not just for jumping. I'm not a jumping type of guy, right? I like these for the braking. So when I'm braking, I'm, I'm pulling back on them. 
All right, let's uh, let's get into a part two of wobble control here. Put things back on. Let's, uh, I don't want to lose this. I always tend to lose this case. All right, so. The Lynx is the best wheel ever made. I'm super thankful to have it. I'm super thankful for the Grizzla pads and the Grizzla, uh, I don't know what to call them, toe stops, jump pads. What do you guys think is the best word? Uh, toe braking pads. That for me, I'm using them for braking. I'm not really using them for jumping. I'm, I can jump, but it's like, ugh. you know, if I'm popping up over a curb or something like that, I'll do it. For me, they're mostly brake pads and uh, wobble control pads. Yeah, I'm not getting wobbles at all because I'm like instinctively, every little subtle, like, the toe stops just give you way more control. Whew, man, I love these things. I'm gonna just have to say, try them out for yourself. I don't think they're that expensive for just the jump pads. Try them out for yourself. If you've tried the Lynx before or the Patton, I love the Leaper Kim toe stops. They, they're a genius, brilliant idea. But uh, the Grizzly ones are just better. They're more comfortable, they're more ergonomic. Gosh, this thing is good. Oh, man. That's just an amazing wheel, man. This is an amazing wheel. Okay, we are in miles per hour. I don't like to look down at the screen when I'm going fast because that can create an imbalance. And wobbles, the imbalances come from your pad setup the wheel ergonomics, your leg muscle imbalance, your inexperience. There are so many things that cause wobbles. And my arguments or what I'm putting forth to you is that these toe stops will help with a lot of those, uh, a lot of those problems because you're able to just get more control out of your wheel, more precision. Okay, so that was 40 only. Whew, I was only going 40 and I felt like I was flying. There's not. I have to step on it a bit harder to get going faster. Those ladies hanging out by my shake. So. Break. The braking is so good. Whew. And I'm running a knobby tire too. I do wish I had a street tire. I felt a slight wobble there, just slight wobble, but it was easy, easy to get out of control, easy to get under control. Man, I love this wheel. I don't know what else to say, guys. These toe stops are amazing. The pads are amazing, giving me good acceleration. They're comfortable. The other pads I was using, the reflective pads, were hurting my shins a bit. These are much more comfortable. Uh, the seats, I can't really give you a review of the Grizzle seat because I don't have one, but Psycho has it on his, and I've used it before on the Sherman S, and it's just super comfortable, and it's not so... You don't have, to, it doesn't take so much to install it as putting all this on. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Grizzla, thank you. Use discount code ZENZONE for 10% off the Grizzla kits. These wrist guards are amazing. One Ride, the best retailer in Europe, in my opinion. These guys have the best warranty, the best service. You're going to be happy if you buy from One Ride. The Lynx, there's only one left in stock, and the 50Ss are coming soon, but I think they're all sold out. Like I predicted, this is going to be the best seller of 2024, and I think I'm going to be right about that. I don't think there's going to be anything to dethrone it. I don't think it's going to be the ET Max for sure. It's just the ergonomics, the height. If they had put a 22-inch tire on it, I would have almost no complaints about it. But that huge wheel well, the distance between the wheel, uh, wheel and the body is massive. I'll put up a photo. It's massive. And the Lynx, it has all the power you need. It feels good. The ergonomics are good. The weight's good. 20 pounds lighter. Definitely recommend the Lynx. One ride dot, and I recommend buying it from OneRide.eu. If you're in Europe, they have the best warranty. Like I said, uh, they'll pay for if there's any issues. They pay for the shipping to return it to you and uh, for you to return it to them. And they'll return it to you for free of shipping costs. So I don't know what more you can want out of that. A two-year warranty. <sighs> Buy the best wheel there is. The Lynx, uh, I was going to do a comparison video of the Patton 
uh, the patent versus the link. Someone was asking me for that. I could summarize by saying I love the patent. It's a thousand euro cheaper almost, and it's a great wheel. I think it has a lot to do with body height and the top speed you want. This just goes a little bit faster. The patent feels torquier because it's a smaller wheel, and it feels like it has better braking because it's a smaller wheel. It just woof the patent. I still think it might have the best braking. I would love to do. I would love to do that comparison. If I do that compa comparison this weekend, we'll test the patent braking. Psycho's so bringing maybe bringing the V14 out here so we can do a Lynx versus V14 comparison. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the likes, the thumbs up, the comments. If we could get up to 100 likes, I'd really appreciate it. Out here risking my life without my Liat gear, going high speeds, showing you that I am not a sellout. I'm here for you guys. I'm gaining nothing from the Grizzly pads. If you buy the Grizzly pads, I get no kickback at all. The discount is for you guys, 10% off for you guys. I hope you guys just enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay in the Zen zone. Wow.